All right, so there are lots of you that are kind of just concerned because, you know, you have had this really bad GPA for, you know, maybe your freshman and sophomore year of undergrad, but you picked it up towards the end and you're like, yo, like, what, what am I in this for? Does it even matter that I'm doing well in these latter years of my undergraduate career? Is this even gonna allow me to get into PA school? If you have that question, this video is for you. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I had a question posed by one of you all and I'm really excited about it because it's a question that I think many people had. It's a question that I had initially for a period of time because I'm like, yo, I know that these prerequisites are like, some of them are where they need to be and some of them aren't or they're old like is this gonna allow me to get into PA school and so if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen any of my videos take a look around if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe because it helps my YouTube algorithm out a lot but Ryan Biderman I hope is how you say it said so if you have all the other criteria and a low GPA are you simply not a candidate and if you do a post back, do you have to retake all your science-based courses over? Okay, legitimate question, Ryan. I mean, so for those of you that are considering doing a post back, I absolutely think that you should do your research on that because yeah, I mean, not all your science courses, but a large majority of those science courses, you will be taking in your post back degree and so that's really up to you if you do not want to do that if you think that that's a waste of your time then don't do it but at the end of the day there are various different types of postbacks um, and one of them is like your science-based biology type postback and so you can absolutely go that route and do that okay so yeah you can take over all of the courses that you've taken before or you know just some of them but that is that is an option when it comes to your first statement of if you have all of the other great criteria, so you know your patient care experience is on point, you got like 12,000 hours of that or something, you know, you scored really well under GRE, you know, you have all of these other prerequisites labeled out, you are like volunteering all over the world internationally, you know, you're doing great on the other front, on the other intangibles, but when it comes down to that GPA, it's not hitting, well, no, it's not a matter of you're not a candidate and you're just not going to make it into PA school. It's a matter of you're going to have a little bit more work to do. You're going to have to search out programs that only look at the last 60 credits or the last two years um, of your, uh, your degree or your undergraduate degree or your graduate degree. You're going to have to look at schools that look at the holistic applicant and not just your undergraduate GPA and there are schools out there that do that you just have to find them and it takes a little bit of work because you have to kind of dredge through 200 programs right um, so that is something that is a possibility and it's been done so it's not to say that you know you're the first person that will have to do this or the only person that will have to do it it's been done before and people have gotten into school because they did that work but you can't be afraid of the work and I don't know like that I think that is like my main thing that I want to kind of bring home to any of you that are looking at trying to get into PA school but you're looking at this as man this seems insurmountable like I'm sitting up here and I have to redo all these classes or I have to you know retake my GRE, or to take the PA CAD and do all of this all extra stuff just to get into PA school to become a provider. Yeah, you do, but you know, this is something that you feel called to, right? And so because of that, don't be afraid of the work. Let the work complete, <laughs> um, completely change you, right? Complete the person that you are going to be. Let this perseverance as it is um, finish the work and, and make you complete, lacking nothing. Um, and so if you take nothing away from this, take away that. Yes, it may be hard. Um, it may be a rocky road. It may be a windy, scenic path. But at the end of the day, your destination is the same and you will still get there if you complete the necessary work, okay? So a little motivational moment from Adana the PA there for you, um, you know, the random girl on YouTube that you have subscribed to because, you know, you like the advice that she's giving. So hopefully <laughs> this one hits you where, where it counts as well um, because ultimately, 
I don't want you to think that just having a low GPA will knock you out of candidacy for being, um, you know, getting into PA school. That's not the case. Uh, but having a low GPA does kind of weed you out from some schools. And so because of that, you really need to do the footwork to make sure that you're applying to the schools that will cater to you and that you will be the best match for. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys doing that. Please go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below or drop me a question if you have those for me as well. If you have not already done so, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram at on the PA and on Instagram at Get That's the University. Thank you guys again. I will talk to you guys next time. 